in a time, and in a universe far away. It is an era of galactic war. Like many before it, this war is not a matter of good against evil, but rather, it is a conflict of question against answer, mystery against solution, Orion against Artemis. It is a collision as timeless as the universe that struggles to contain it. Everyone knows of this clash, but few understand the truths behind its belligerence. Some say that Orion is an invasive foreign entity with Artemis being the universe's immune response. Others insist Artemis was once a celestially armored being of goodness and wisdom, but had since become corrupted by the imploding emptiness of space. In this case, Orion, himself a fallen star so they say, was made to be her counter, coming in his own original armor and power to keep her in check. Still others speculate that the fate of the universe either rests upon the result of this war, or the war is never meant to end. Regardless of the truth, it cannot be denied that fate, destiny, and the nature of the cosmos itself wills these two into an eternal conflict. It is in such a space that we find our hero, Lance Star Champion. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Save draft, please. Of course, sir. I should have a pretty good film pitch by the time I get home. Ugh. Still not sure how we're gonna get around those silly Zactarian intellect property fees, but that's a problem for later. Sir, you should be aware of a stellar explosion that can be seen out the main window, just off to the left of your central view. What? Ah, oh, so it is. <laughs> Nothing to worry about, just a natural supernova in the distance. It's even outshining the Leonidas over there. Impressive. Certainly. I made you aware of it in case you wanted to adjust our course accordingly. Oh, certainly, I will. But first I'd like to admire it for a bit. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Of course, sir. I'll begin the calculations and provide an update for the Star Commander. Thank you. Also, again, no need for formalities. This being a solo scouting mission and all, it's just you and me on this trip. Of course, Lance. <sighs> it's quite something, isn't it? That a star is at its very brightest just before its demise. And with enough mass, that astral core feeds on itself to become the blackest and hungriest void matter in known existence. <sighs> quite something. We are a safe distance away, right? For now, yes. For now? What do you mean by that? I mean that the celestial phenomenon was, a moment ago, 60 light years away from our position. It is now 54. A supernova can't be that big, can it? Analytical correction. What was previously identified as a supernova is now confirmed to be a collision between a supernova and a black hole. Wow, quite the event. But that still doesn't explain why it's six light years closer. Now 40. Is that 40 light years closer or 40 light years away? Closer. Something else is going on here. Update analysis, please. Of course. New conclusion. Two celestial bodies colliding. That doesn't tell me anything new. What's going on here? Allow me to rephrase then. Two celestial entities engaging in repeated, hostile, intelligent collision. Speak standard to me, chip for brains! Please turn around and observe the... collision for yourself. What? I... Oh, sweet mother of mercy. They're real. The... Uh, I can't believe it. I, I just... Let's leave. Immediately. I'm sorry, Lance. I'm afraid we can't do that at this time. Why not? The anomaly outside includes multiple stellar forces and gravity wells being created and destroyed at inexplicable, sporadic intervals. In other words, they're literally throwing stars and dark matter at each other. Alright. That's... Fine, I guess. 
Send out a communication signal. Right away. Speak when ready. All right. Uh, uh hello? Uh, Lance Star Champion here. I, uh, uh, what's the right protocol here? Uh, your battle is preventing me from leaving, and I would like to not perish through explosion or implosion, or both at once. Hello? Of all the locations in the vast expanse of space, they had to warp into this one. Wait, what am I doing? This is prime video material for the Star Champion movie. Uh, begin recording. Opening camera shutters. Wow. <laughs> Wait until the effects guys get their hands on this for the concept trailer. Adjusting sensitivity. Come on, we're missing it. I am not used to recording this particular phenomenon. Please be patient. You've recorded supernovas and black holes before. Their existence and exact locations tend to be far stabler than mere seconds. Well, adjust faster. Wait. No. Recording commencing. Great. Stellar. They're gone, idiot. No need to be rude to the systems that keep you alive in the midst of a literal vacuum, Lance. <sighs> Well, at least we can leave now, right? Of course. Resuming calculations. And... What now? You have a new message. Sender, Lieutenant Colonel Zork. Subject, New Galactic Intellect Property Fees. Effective immediately. On second thought, staying out here sounds pretty nice right about now. The Star Commander will be expecting a direct report from you soon. Right. I guess I can't keep her waiting. Ready when you are. Ready. Let's go. Hi, Baronipitous here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, audio drama, that little uh, story of Lance Star Champion's um, uh, encounter with Supernova Orion and Black Hole Artemis. Um, I wanted to have add this uh, section in, um, of me and the video uh, here at the end so to kind of uh, explain a couple of things. First of all, like, clarifying my reveal, um, talking, second of all, talking about a giveaway, and third of all, some uh, behind-the-scenes stuff about what you just heard. So uh, if it wasn't clear, my reveal is the lore of Battle Pass Season 5, um, Galactic War, basically. Um, everything you heard from the very beginning of that story up until when Lance says, oh, that's good, save the draft, is essentially the lore of this battle pass. That, that section right there with the, mu with the dramatic music and everything. Um, I wrote that section um, based on what the developers of Brawlhalla told me about, uh, you know, what, what the sort of backstory is behind these, um, behind this version of Artemis and Orion and behind this alternate universe, essentially. Um, everything else beyond beyond Lance saving the draft is me extrapolating on that idea that um, Lance and many many others are uh, observers and or participants in this sort of galactic war between these two entities. That you have uh, you have Orion who represents the supernova um, and Artemis who represents the power of the black holes and uh, yeah. Uh, the, these two different states of a of a star's death, essentially, and they're just kind of like diametrically opposed, and they are acting um, along with their nature. Uh, and it really is not just a matter of good and evil, it's a matter of Artemis versus Orion, uh, mis uh, question uh, versus answer, essentially. Um, who is right? Who is wrong? Um, uh, it's, up to, it's up to you to decide, really. Um, I, and I really like that. I like the vagueness of that, um, the open to interpretation. Um, but yeah, um, the lore. I imagine that some of you were, might have been expecting uh, actual cosmetics. Uh, weapon skins, avatars, podiums, um, legend skins, or something else. And I'm sorry to disappoint. Um, I don't know if... Um, I know that I've revealed other things in previous Battle Pass seasons, but this season it really is just lore. And um, 
If that is not satisfying enough for you, then I have two. Then I have two um, two suggestions. First of all, of course, you know that you can go to brahola.com forward slash battle pass to look at and anticipate the uh, reveals of my other fellow uh, Brahola partnered content creators. And two. I can do you one better than showing you cosmetics. I can give you cosmetics. Obviously not the Battle Pass Season 5 cosmetics, but I'm doing a giveaway, a lore quiz giveaway, in the uh, which you can find in the link in the description down below. I do this every single Battle Pass reveal where um, there's a quiz of about 10 questions and you need to get all of them correct in order to be eligible to enter um, one of the uh, one of the prizes. All the details, all the information about how to enter and like how it works will be is in that link uh, below, as well as a list of all the prizes. But at the recording of this video, I don't know 100% what all the prizes will be, but I do have a lot of legend skins, weapon skins, uh, colors, and and avatars, so on and so forth, that I've been kind of um, having for safe that I've kind of had for safekeeping for the past several months, and I'm going to be giving away. Not everything I have, but most of what I have um, in this giveaway here. So um, uh, the quiz is open right now. Uh, go ahead and uh, check that out. I uh, The quiz will close, the giveaway will close when Battle Pass Season 5 officially releases in the game as well. Um, as, of the record, as of recording, I do not know exactly when that is, but, um, but yeah, it's... You can, uh, but anyway, if I if I do know the date, then it'll be down below as well. But essentially, you have until Battle Pass Season Five um, releases, and then you will be, and then I will decide the winners and announce them on Twitter at Bdipitus. So yeah, um, I think that's uh, that's uh, it for the giveaway as well as what my reveal is. I really hope you enjoyed what you've just heard. I'm now going to go in a little bit into some behind the scenes stuff about how and why I made that little story. So if you are not interested in that, feel free to leave um, because I wanted to get the, the most vital information out first. The stuff about what my reveal actually is, the lore, as well as that giveaway information. So if that's all you care about and I don't blame you, if you do, then... Um, Thanks for coming, and uh, enjoy the rest of uh, the Battle Pass Season 5 reveals. Alright, for those of you who have stayed, here's a little bit of uh, behind the scenes uh, with the, that story you just heard. So, I um, I I started with, a, with the idea of kind of what I did last uh, for Battle Pass Season 4, in which I wrote a narrative, and I read that narrative off. Um, in the case of Season 4, uh, Schwerpy took what I recorded and put it in his video along with his revealing the colors for the Battle Pass. And that's great. I, I really enjoyed working with Schwerpy there. Um, but since this time I'm, it's just here, me, uh, making this uh, video, then I thought I would have a little bit more fun with it. I, well, I'd be a little bit more of... I'd stretch myself a little bit more creatively and uh, make this sort of audio drama. Now, I'm not new to making audio dramas. I have uh, I have directed and produced um, Brahalla Underworld, uh, and I did a decent amount of editing for that one. Not all of it, but a decent but a decent amount, and um, uh, putting all the lines together and stuff. And uh, so, working on Audacity with um, with uh, audio files was not totally new to me, but there were a couple things I did that were that were uh, new. I had to look up on the internet how to do, uh, and it was all very fun and exciting. And uh, so, essentially, obviously, I did both of the voices. Landstar Champion was pretty easy; um, almost no editing there. Um, the ship AI, however, I added a little echo effect, which is the same echo effect I use on the Artemis and Orion voices for Brawlhalla Underworld. Um, which is basically it is an echo effect that is 0 0.05 seconds of delay, which has that sort of like double effect uh, there, and that, that sort of double reverb-ish effect there. And then I increased the pitch by a couple of tones. I can't remember if it was whole steps or half steps, two whole steps or two half steps, but um, noticeably higher, so that there could be some difference between my voice as Lance and my voice as the ship AI. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, all, almost all, pretty much all of the sound effects that you hear, as well as the music, are from the YouTube audio library. Uh, really great resource for those making uh, YouTube videos. Um, expansive library there, 
And uh, I was able to also do a little bit of tweaking of some of those sound effects, you know, shrinking them or stretching them or like changing the pitch and, you know, fade in, fade out and that kind of stuff. Lots of easy little uh, filters and effects to um, suit my purposes. Uh, I will say, though, that I am probably the most proud of what I did with the Brawlhalla battle sound effects. The, the battle effects, the battle sound effects between Artemis and Orion. You may have noticed that those are actually sound effects from the game Brawlhalla. I went to training mode and I started out as Artemis with the computer being Orion. And then later I switched with me being Orion and the computer being Artemis. And I focused on Lance signatures and Lance sounds because those sounded the mo more like mechanical and that was the weapon that was common between the two of them. So I imagine the two of them like Lance fighting essentially. Um, and uh, yeah, I took, and I also focused on the signatures um, so that you kind of like, you get some of that that, that kind of stuff, that black hole dark matter sound from Artemis. And the sort of pew, 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 pew from, from Orion as well. Um, and so I took that uh, footage and I put it in Audacity and I stretched it. Uh, basically, I slowed it down by, uh, well, it's at 60% speed. Um, and that's, uh, doing it at 60% speed made it, long, made it just long enough for what I needed um, for this story. So, yeah, I, do, I did that and I added some reverb to, you know, add space to space. And, um, and then I added a good deal of bass <laughs> to space as well. Make it nice and low and nice and uh, big and nice and spacey. Essentially, with, with every sound, even the, even a simple like unarmed, uh, unarmed neutral attack, like um, having, having uh, that's, how, that's how I got that, that big impact uh, from there. I slowed it down and I added some reverb and bass, essentially. Um, now, obviously, I know that like sound, like sound doesn't carry in space, but this is fiction, and I thought it would be, you know, I'm going by the rule of cool here, right? So, uh, so yeah, so I'm very proud of what I did with that, and then I just added like some sound effects for like zooming in and then zooming out, um, and like you know ship sounds and, and things like that. So, um, so yeah, I um, let's see. Uh, the concept for this story was, um, I started out with just that narrative section at the beginning with the section with the dramatic music. I was just only going to do that, but I thought, oh, that's not very much, is it? It's just like, it's like not even like a minute, not, not even two minutes worth of stuff. I need to give people more, right? And so I, um, so I decided, it, and I, I also wanted to like, um, I, I wanted to use the character of Lance Star Champion, right? Because I feel I I feel like he can't not be somehow involved in this in the in my battle pass reveal, right? He's a character that appears twice in the lore, in Lord Vrax's lore and in Artemis's lore. And I'm like, I, I gotta include him somehow, right? Uh, I just gotta. And I decided, ooh, what if he is at what if he was the one reading the narration? And everything just kind of went on from there. Uh, he's and I thought I imagined him in his ship and I imagined oh what if Artemis and, or Artemis and Orion just kind of like zoomed in right right next to him and like he he watches the battle and stuff like that, um, um, and so that I just everything just kind of wrote itself essentially uh, from that point on I just had fun just like drafting the script and uh, reading over it recording the line recording the lines myself editing it um, I pretty much took an entire day uh, doing this but the nice thing is. Um, that my uh, that was a day that my wife and I were both in quarantine and um, my wife more than me uh, recovering from the effects of uh, of the coronavirus. Uh, she's doing fine, by the way. It's just kind of like you know just congestion and the kind of stuff you'd expect from colds and allergies, just slightly worse. Um, and I have I've had a bit of a sore throat as well, so I'm glad I was able to record all of that. But I mean, it was really nice. It was a blessing in disguise because you know again we're. We were here at home, and while she's taking a nap, I do all this stuff. Um, I make this for you. So, um, yeah. If you have any other questions about what, or about why, or how I have made this, uh, feel free to ask it in the comments. But yeah, I enjoyed this very much, and it is always a tremendous pleasure and honor um, to be included as um, in these battle pass uh, reveals. I'm very grateful to be able to work with the Brawlhalla devs on, on this, and yeah, um, I know I was very excited about Battle Pass Season 4 with all the Exalted Lion stuff, and that was really cool, but by golly, 
I love outer space. Um, I went through a space and stars constellation and constellations phase as a kid, and I kind of there's still a part of me that just really loves the phenomenon, the phenomena of, of outer space, the stars and the planets and and the galaxies and all of that. And um, I was hoping that there would be a space themed battle pass because there's a lot of there's a lot of outer space going on in the Brawlhalla lore, and now we have it. And I'm very excited to see this, um, pun intended, stellar battle pass uh, revealing um, in the near future. So now I am wrapping up the video for real. So thank you all very much for being here. And um, until next time, all the best and enjoy the rest of the reveals and the battle pass itself when it comes out. <laughs>